Football, seven years after the program was brought back to life, the pack would win in dominating fashion today by a score of 13 to nothing. It was a magnificent performance against the Mavs by the men from Pueblo. For more on this great day for the Steel City, we're going to check in with Jason Carter as we rejoin him in Kansas City. Good evening, Jason. Yeah, good evening again, Rob. You know, it was a pretty calm day here in Kansas City for the most part, except for the action on the field. Both defenses absolutely flying around in one of the lowest scoring championship games that you will probably ever see in the end. It was the Wolfpack who get to hoist the trophy and come out victorious, something head coach John Riston has envisioned for a very, very long time. Afterwards, he was obviously very emotional. Sorry. It's special. We, we walk out to go shake their hand, and someone hands me the trophy. He's like, hey, man, pass this around. So we, we hold it up. A couple of my boys coming and hold it up, and it's just it's a good feeling, man. Great feeling. It was, yeah, it was our goal from the beginning of the season. We got it done, man. A great feeling that no one will ever be able to take away from coaches and players from CSU Pueblo as they are the 2014 national champions of Division II football. That will officially wrap up our coverage here from Kansas City. Congratulations again to the Thunderwolves who come away with the title. Reporting live in KC, Jason Carter, KRDO News Channel 13 Sports. All right, Jason, good work there in Kansas City. I think what I might miss the most are your earmuffs. You did a great job, my friend. Coming up in sports, we're going to check in with the Air Force. <laughs>